Ooh, am I wrong for kicking my girlfriend out of my house and breaking up with her because she went to an after party without me? So, the after party doesn't sound that serious, but to the point that he feel like he need to like break up with her and kind of make sure that he never see her again. So, it's a true story and I want to hear your opinions on if they, if he is the asshole or not, All right? So, let's give some uh, context here. So, uh, the person is a 24-year-old male and the, his girlfriend is a 23-year-old and her name is Annie and began, they began dating in, in college. So, last week, Annie invited me, uh, Annie invited that person to her co-worker's Joe party, okay? And uh, he had heard a lot about him in the past, and he and she really seems to have a lot of in common, especially with the taste in music. Apparently, Joe was an amateur musician with fairly successful YouTube uh, channel. Joe initially invited only Annie. But when she asked him if I could tag along, he said it was fine. All right, that's how they got together to the party, right? The party was on Saturday evening. It was a fun party with about 30 people. Hell, at a restaurant Joe had rented out. Toward the end, though, I wandered into Annie's little discussion group. And I immediately got the feeling that nobody really want, wanted me there. I wonder why he got the feeling that nobody really wanted him there. Is it because that nobody talked to him, nobody gave him the chance to talk, or nobody asked him the follow-up question, or he told a joke that nobody left? I'm just curious. Most all, most of all, it was most of all, any. It was her, Joe, and a few other people. So just, so I guess it's like any and Joe or like kind of like college or high school best friends, right? And they have their own special group, and that guy just kind of button there and talk about something that they are not part of which I hate that feeling because when you never you go to a group when you don't just go in there and start talking and you just feel like you're not part of the group because you, you didn't grow up together like like Annie and Joe right so that might be the reason thinking that I was just imagining things I hung around and listened to Joe basically boast about himself the whole time a little while later I wandered off to get myself a drink and chat with a few other people so Joe sounds like he likes to talk about his achievement. He's a overachiever or something, right? Eventually, the time to leave came around, and I went to find Andy again. Joe approached me at the point and said that he was having an after party over his house. I was going to refuse, but then he said, "Sorry, man, but only M Andy is invited." While clapping me on the shoulder, I first told him not to touch me, and then. She Said she is not going. He informed me that she already accepted the invitation. Yeah, I could feel his heart like just kind of shattered, right? So yeah, imagine if someone come up to you and said that, "Hey, I'm taking your girlfriend to the after party, and you're not invited." And you saw Annie and Joe, these two together, lovebirds, like literally almost lovebirds. Like talking to them, each other laughing and having the best time of their life, and the, and they see just watch their boyfriend standing in the background, not re really doing anything. I would be a really, I would be pretty serious or furious at that point. I would text him. Let's see what he would do. I texted Annie immediately to ask where she was. She responded, "Sorry, on the way to Joe's place. I will see you tomorrow. Love you." I kind of hate it when someone does this kind of text. Say something. She just basically said that I abandon you, but I still love you. Do, do, do you really love that person? Like, when you say love you, like, do you really mean it? If you mean it, you could have just invited him too. If he's not invited, don't go. How do you love him if you just go by yourself? Well, he stay in the room. Like, he's, he stays in the car waiting for you, right? I asked if she knew I wasn't invited and she then, she then left me on read. Text after that were all ignored. So she just completely ignored him. I would be very, very mad too. If my girlfriend kind of ignored me like that and went to an after party without me and didn't even communicate that well. 
I bet he was just very uncomfortable with Joe and Andy kind of together uh, with that close, with that good kind of chemistry, you know, so anything might have happened. I drove home furious. I stayed out all night and finally Andy walked in the door at 5.42 a.m. Holy crap, 5.42 a.m. They must be a lot of stuff, a lot of drinking, sex might be involved, you know, you never know, who knows. I know I... I know because I was by the window watching. I recognized the car as Joe's and the driver as Joe. Nobody else was in the car. Andy waved to him cutely and laughed at something he said. And he came inside and asked surprised to see me still up. At that point, I flatly told her that we are done. And she had the rest of the day to move out. Andy was at first confused with me. And then I told her that she can just move in with Joe. He must be really, really furious and really, really hurt to be staying up all that all night long till 5.45. I bet he could not sleep, could not fall asleep. When he closed his eye, he probably just dream of any and they having sex or something. Or they, they having a good chemistry, talking, drinking beer, drinking wine. And she completely ignored the boyfriend. And he finally moved out yesterday and it was pretty dramatic. She said that she loved me, that I was throwing away everything over a party. Did I go her did I do her wrong here? I feel like I'm getting gaslighted. No man, you did not do anything wrong. You did everything completely right because any completely ignored like even if you're not in like a boyfriend or girlfriend relationship. It just if it, even if it's just friends, you could treat him better instead of just completely ignore all the text because you are in the zone trying to talk to people, right? I think that kind of reminded me of me reminded me of one of my stories where I was dating a girl, right? I was trying to really hard try to date her, try to talk to her in the past, and she is kind of shy, and I talked to her for like two or three months, right? Just texting and slowly started talking on the phone like once a week because she is so sad. So I put in so much effort trying to like talk to her and try to lead the conversation. And one day I call her, you know, and try to like work on our, our conversations. You know what she did? She was at a party and she handed the phone over to her girlfriends and let her talk to me. And it, it felt like I was a joke or something. Like I didn't feel appreciated at all. So at that moment, I just kind of completely stopped talking to her. I was very furious too. Kind of like, I, I can feel like what the guy is going through right now. Which is being ignored and being very disrespectful, right? Everyone has feelings, you know? And I would never treat a person or a friend like that. Like where you just completely ignore that person. Ignore all the text. Ignore the, uh, uh, make sure that he didn't even, see the even, like, ask if he was okay. Right, so, yeah, I think that is the easy one for me. Um, he is definitely not the asshole, and I feel like he made the right choice to uh, break out with her. All right, that is the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. My name is Calvin, and I see you guys next.